All right, welcome to our next section of the Excel 2010 for Power Users course. Um, during this section, we're going to talk about importing data from the web. Now, you've probably gotten into importing data from a text file or from some database in the back end, but there may come a time where, hey, I need to be able to grab this table from this website. I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to be using a uh, stock watcher. I want to be able to import data on a specific stock into my Excel worksheet here. And then I want to be able to refresh the data from within Excel and see the update. As the market's open, I want to see if that stock is going up or down throughout the day. Uh, now, I could just go out into the website and view it there, but maybe I'm creating a, a more of a dashboard type element within Excel where I've got all this other related information. Now, I want to build a chart off that data. I want to be able to incorporate a set of calculations within Excel. I want to be able to import that data into Excel from a website and be able to work with it here. So how do we do this? It's very similar to importing any other type of data. Okay, the only difference here is this is going to come from some website. So I open in front of me, I've got just a blank Excel document. I just opened up a brand new document. I went File, New, Give Me a New Document. I'm currently sitting on Sheet 1. I'm going to rename this. Let's call this uh, Microsoft Stock. I'm going to point this uh, connection that we're about to make here, importing from web connection, to stock information on Microsoft. So here's how we do it. I'm in my blank worksheet. I'm going to go up to my data tab, top of the screen. On the data tab, over on the far left, you got a section called Get External Data. By going to there, we've got a number of different places you can import data from. Here, I'm going to do From Web. All right, now this is going to open up kind of a, a little bit of a clunky little window. It's kind of a, like a clunky browser window, uh, but it's a browser window built into Excel. They call it the new web query window. We're going to be querying information from the web. Now, default, I've got it taking me to my home page. Learn it anytime. Uh, I'm going to paste in a link that I grabbed here. This is coming from Yahoo, from the finance section of Yahoo, and I'm going to grab the uh, Microsoft stock symbol. I'm going to go ahead and hit the go button here on the right. So this is going to load the uh, Yahoo Finance page into my window. Uh, if you get any of these little script windows, this is coming from the little clunky browser that's in here. I'm going to go ahead and let the script continue to run. Yes, that's loading things on my page and whatnot. Now, inside this little browser window that they presented me with, I've got these little yellow boxes that show up. And, and these represent tables inside of this web page an HTML table. Now what I can do, and like, like it says here, click the little yellow arrow box next to the tables you want to select and then import them. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say I want to grab the, let's scroll down so we can see more, I want to grab this section right here of this page and I want to import this into Excel. And you see how the numbers are changing occasionally. Um, volume, oh, they're just changed. Volume just changed on me. And if I keep talking here, we'll see other values change there on me as well. Um, but I want to get this portion of the table into my window. So I'm going to click on the little arrow right here. I'm going to go down to the lower right hand corner. I'm going to import it. This is going to take just a moment, but it's going to take that segment of this page and import it into my Excel document. Oh, first, first it just wants to know where I want to place it. Let's keep it inside of A1 on the active worksheet. Take a moment, and there's my data. Now, it's not going to be real time. It's not going to update right away. There is a connection, though. There is a connection from this data to that web page that we were just looking at. Okay, but in order for this to update, I'm going to go back to my data tab. On towards the right, you got a section called Connections with a refresh button. Kind of looks like a little uh, recycle button. But if I give that a click, watch some of the values. And I'll hit it a couple of times. Perhaps watch the, the uh, volume or average volume here. See that change? Market capital change as well. There it goes. 956 for volume right now. Let's see if I hit it again. Oh, 842. 
So the data is dynamic. It is connected still to the source out on the web. So as long as we got internet connection, right, we can get that live update from a website. Now remember, all I've done there, click into an empty cell, I've gone to my data tab, get external data from web, browse out to any page, whatever it might be. In my case, I'm going to paste in that finance for Yahoo again with the Microsoft stock symbol there. I'll hit the go button. This will refresh my page. Now it's going to give you the option to be able to pick different areas of the page, wherever we have those HTML tables. Last time, I started out by grabbing this days range section. Let's grab this one, the previous close, open, bid, the asking, and so on. I'll check that little arrow. I'm going to go ahead and import it. Tell it where to place it. I'll stay D1. That's fine. Take just a moment. Get in that data. But there we have it. Simple as that. You've got data out on the web. Maybe it's on an internet site. Maybe it's some public site like I'm looking at here. But you want to be able to bring that data into Excel so you can now work with it within Excel. Create calculations, format it, whatever you want to do with it. It's now your Excel document. And then once again, remember, on your data, and we see that the bid and asking price are changing as I refresh that. There we go. That's all we have. Try it out. Take a moment. Pause the video. Jump out into Excel. Just open up a blank document. Don't have to have an existing example file. Open up something empty. Jump up to your data tab. Get external data from web. Navigate to a website, whether it's stock or some other data. Grab anywhere you see those little arrows. You'll be able to grab that table and import it into Excel. So take a moment, try it out, I'll wait around, and then we're going to jump into our next topic.